I haven't skated in such a long time. I've been sick. My mum was up here for Christmas, which was great. <laughs> and I've just been doing a lot of sleeping. I had the flu for like a week. After the flu, I had tonsillitis. And yeah, I'm just starting to get back on my feet. So this is gonna be a struggle to break the seal today, but I am determined. I just got home, just got back from the park. That session was really, really good, if I don't say, because I thought I would have sucked. Like the first board slide I did, I didn't even pop, I didn't even bend my knees, like it felt like I didn't know how to skate anymore. And I just tried to be mindful of like, you know, just pace yourself, run through your tricks. And I try to get a good mix of like my go-to tricks and then a couple scary ones, like the blunt and the back lip. I feel like, I'm more confident to go skate tomorrow now because I'm skating with Dan tomorrow. So usually I'm puffed, like I'll skate and then become super puffed. But today, for some reason, I don't know if it's a sickness helping me to skate. I'm too sick to skate, but I only had an, a small acai bowl this morning, hit the park, and then I skated for like three, four hours. Usually I'll have an acai bowl about an hour into skating. I'm already hungry and like I'm a vegan. So I eat all the time. It seems like I'm never not eating. I, I was fine the whole session. I was sweet. I just kept sipping on water. I just kept pacing myself. And I didn't get into my head so much because I'm quite picky with skating outfits, my board setup, my shoes, like all these little variables that go into skateboarding for me. That is the madness, I would say. I kind of try to ignore that and just try to get down to the foundation of skateboarding. And I had a really good session, so I'm stoked. I feel like... I've been slacking on skating. Obviously, the holidays comes around, you know, Christmas time, you have family, you're around friends, New Year's, like no one really skates unless they really make an effort to go out and skate. And I feel like I've been letting skateboarding fall down by the wayside in a way. Like I'm trying to simplify my life because I know I've got a lot going on. It's always like, like tattooing skateboarding graffiti snowboarding dirt bikes this 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 and that and it's like i'm just trying to simplify my life and try to keep skating as the main priority this year along with making videos i do want to make 100 videos this year i'm already behind because january is pretty much done so yeah that's my goal for the year just like produce content and just try to get down to the foundation of things and not try to overthink everything like i do and like i have been doing that's my uh that's my plan for the year i just got to um national city in san diego waiting on dan i think spencer and dowdy are coming today as well 
It's got this acai bowl. It was 15 bucks. Check it out. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Look how good it is. So, uh, we didn't take into consideration the floods. And the park was flooded. Seeing it, there's a creek right here. There's just a bunch of dirt and debris and shit everywhere. See, called Caesar Solace. Solace. It looks like a fun park, though, but yeah. Dan said, watch out for this heroin needle. I said, no way. Oh. It's get, well, it's part of the park, actually. I feel probably... like a lot of people want to pop out early, and this needle, <laughs> they installed it this year. They got a grant to extend the skate park. And so, yeah, you have to grind off the end now. Because there's there was, like, so many people doing crooked fakies and landing right no, here. Can't have that. Yeah, so they're like, all right, you're going off the end, boys. <laughs> it actually, it's also adjustable. Oh. You can pull it out further, so you have <laughs> to gap past it. <laughs> it's definitely from the floods, huh? Look. Look at the creek. There's a bunch of like oh, furniture yeah, and shit, dude. Right. It would have just overflowed into the park here and that syringe would have followed. I think that syringe is not from the flood. <laughs> I think the syringe is from the good home. Oh. He says. Yep, yeah, there it is. There it is. <coughs> yeah? Is that why? That I was in. Remember that day at um, Old Man Cherry? Oh, yeah. On that yeah. long curve, I was on nose manuals all day. He's a nose wheelie guy. Yep. Oh, there you go. Yeah, easy. <laughs> Gonna fly away with those arms, man. Vert Sean over here. Oh, oh so it. chill. That was it's chill. Fun. It's big, I huh? What it is, yeah. It could, I think also all the pushing makes it feel even bigger. Oh yeah. <laughs> think about kickflip. Two tricks. Oh shit. We got kickflip, yeah. You reckon? Just stick it. I reckon. I'm go that way. I reckon though. <laughs> I reckon. Yeah, dude. Oh, we got that. I feel like you gotta pop slow, like flick slow. Oh, oh dude, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Just do it, Sean. Chill. The ground's fine. You're good. I know. I reckon Dan you told me to f off. <laughs> 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 Whoa. Easy money. Hey, get off of that. Hey, get off of that. <laughs> yeah, get off of that. Oh, um. I reckon that was pretty good. I reckon, I reckon we get you a pint for that one. Wow! Kapow, kachow! Red, I want you to go to his house. Blow that joint up, don't let nobody out. Oh, get Trigger Man, bring him to me. Cause I'm tired of this Trigger Man stuff in Tennessee. Now all the time while this stuff is going on, I called up another roadie on my flip phone. Junior, I want you to call down the Texas Special Order.